So welcome to another tutorial by the MXQ project. Today's tutorial is all about the Z66X, which came out quite a while ago now, it was about seven months ago, and it featured one of the most unique processes I think we've ever seen. It's a processor made by the manufacturer ZTE, and they are normally known for making mobile phones, whereas it, one of their processors has found its way into this TV box. And I think it's one of the only TV boxes that actually feature this, since then as well um so a bit strange but there we go so this is actually a firmware update but this tutorial will show you how to recover your box as well but this firmware that's available now i think actually fixes a lot of the issues that people were having with it such as netflix as well so apparently netflix runs now smoother on this firmware so anyway this uh, tutorial is about how to recover it rather than upgrading the firmware but you know it's there and it's available if you want to try it out in case you do own one of these boxes so anyway let's get on with this tutorial my name is matthew and you're watching another video by the mxq project So first things first, you need to go into the description just below and all the links etc will be there. Now I've only linked to mega actual files at the moment, I've not actually uploaded any of this to our own servers. This is actually links provided by a guy over on Freetab, I'm not entirely sure what his name was, I shall leave again the link to the thread to Freetab where you can check it out, there's more information on there and some of the admin etc are over on free tab etc to do with all that. So all credit to them guys for uploading it etc and I'll probably get around to it at some point to upload it to the MXQ project servers. So first things first, um, this guy has actually uploaded it to Mega, the two different files. So you, you've got the firmware and you can just see this here. This is the firmware just here. So B860 AV2, that's our image file and that's gonna be used with our actual installation tool. Now. You'll see this folder here, you won't actually get this, you'll need to unzip this. So the Z66X, you need to unzip that. So if you've got an unzip tool, I'm sure you know what to do. Extract here and it'll just extract it and it'll create this folder. Next thing we need to do is just click into there and you'll see this one just here. Again, I've already unzipped it, but xprog underscore v2.1, you just need to extract that. And then you need to go into here. And then the last thing you need to do is quite straightforward is this xprog install now the next set of uh, instructions kind of it's just kind of winging it really i can't really guide you through the next process one because i don't understand chinese and the installation process is pretty much all in chinese and i don't understand chinese at all and yeah it's kind of a lengthy process it kind of wants to do lots of different things just click yes 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 and it should be absolutely fine and eventually it will just you know bring up the setup page which is just this just here so it looks actually quite similar to Amlogic usb burn until but um yeah that's pretty much it once you've got to this stage we can then move on to the next part so like everything else, we need to import the image that we downloaded. Remember the actual, if we go back a few steps and we can see that here, the B860, that is our image file. That is our firmware for our Z66X Android TV box. And then what we need to do is we just need to import it. So click import and then click where, wherever you've got that stored, click open. And then the next thing we need to do is simply find ourselves a USB male to male USB cable and then we need to plug one end into our PC obviously and then the next end into our Z66X. Now that's pretty much it all that you need to do it's just going to do it all automatically it's not like USB burning tool on analogic devices where you need to hold in the reset button blah 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 you don't need to do that you just plug it in and just leave it it does take quite a while it wants to install drivers you will notice at the below at the below it will say installing drivers it might do that two or three times don't worry too much about that it will do it a couple of times and then finally it should start to connect to it and you'll see what you're seeing on screen now it'll start doing its thing whatever that is and then the progress bar and one thing i have noticed is once it gets to 100 percent it will kind of give you a weird bleeping noise if you've got speakers you'll hear that and then the next thing you need to do is just wait for that 100 it'll say replace board or whatever it says on it 
and then you just need to remove the USB cable. If you don't you remove the USB cable, it will just start the process over and over again until you've actually taken it out. Just make sure you are 100% Remove the USB cable from your Z66X and everything should be fine. Don't take it out too soon because you do risk damaging your device and don't take it out during the actual process itself. Again, you'll break it or something like that. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you recover your Z66X. Let me know how you got on in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and we shall see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out themxqproject.com, Facebook group and of course Twitter. Thanks again guys and we shall see you very soon.